Hello and welcome to the BL Crypto simple yet very strong encryption system. So the first uh, tab page you come to when you fire up the application is the files tab page here. And here you have the option to uh, encrypt or decrypt single files or also text, simple text messages. Uh, before we look into the various input options, let me just draw your attention to the center of the screen here where we've got the key option. Here you can select one of three different types of key to use for the encryption process. Now the keys are very strong uh, keys, very long keys and very strong keys that are generated by the BL crypto software based on your password. So if we go to the settings section here you can see that your passwords are set up here. So you've got the option to set up three different passwords, one, two and three and you set up the password or passphrase here and you also have a note section so you can put a note in as to what this password is used for. For example, you may want a special password for all your files and folders sent to Dropbox. So you set up your password here and your password uh, then also defines which encryption system is used. And uh, so you have an option to select various different encryption systems here uh, for now we'll just set this as AES256. So if we go back to the file section here, uh, there's various different options to get the file uh, that you want to encrypt. So let's just drag and drop a file. So we'll drag and drop a file into this box here. And you see you get your file name and you get um, a note as to where it is, where it's come from and here a note as to uh, where it's going to. It's going to go to the encrypt folder once it's been encrypted and this is also set up in the settings section uh, in this box here you select uh, whichever folder you want the output file to go to. You can of course also set this to be your cloud folder Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever you have. So let's go ahead and uh, do the encryption. Press the encryption button you get a progress report here you see the file sizes and you notice when it's complete you notice that the um, BL crypto has added BL for blue light and K1 for the particular key that you used uh, the original file name remains intact and you also get a box here which gives you some more information as to what's been going on let me just uh, pull up the uh, output folder here and as you can see two files have been generated the encryption file here with the BL and K1 added and uh, it's also been zipped up so uh, if you look at the settings and advanced settings options you have the option to automatically zip so that was one one method of doing it you also have the option to press the big filing cabinet here and you can uh, go to the particular folder and you can select the file that you want directly here and uh, press the encrypt button and do the encryption that way or you can uh, just simply press the encrypt button and that'll automatically fire up the browser here for you the file find and you can uh, you can select it immediately like that uh, we also have here um, a little box where you can enter text information. Let's just clear this box out here. Uh, we can type some text into here, for example, hello world, and uh, encrypt. And you see the uh, encrypted text immediately come up on the right hand window. So we can just go ahead and copy and paste that back in and press the decrypt button and you see hello world recreated there so uh, let's let's go ahead and now uh, do a decryption so let's let's find uh, the the file we had decrypted the uh, the file we had encrypted sorry uh, it doesn't matter which key uh, you used which encryption method you used any file that is brought up for decryption the BL crypto will automatically identify what it needs to do to, to decrypt it. So let's uh, let's hit the decrypt button. Let's go to Blue Light Tech 
encrypt and we'll pick up the zip file and uh, you'll see it'll automatically decrypt that there's the progress and now it's put the uh, output file in the decrypt folder here so let's go and have a look at that decrypt folder here we are and here's the file and uh, as you can see it's uh, it's been decrypted correctly so that's the that's the files page fairly simple really um, just one other thing to mention uh, you can also cancel the operation anytime you like um, you can also save uh, any data in this window to file for example you may have some message here uh, that you want to encrypt and then you may want to save that to file so you press this button and you have the option then to save as uh, or you could immediately send it by email you press the email button and your email client uh, will automatically uh, be fired up and uh, this message will be in the body so these are the main features of the files section uh, we also have an information box here so you can fire this up at any time and you can uh, get some explanation text about what's how it's working what's going on that's that's about it